Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today on Classic Vinny DIY. Today I'm going to be covering exactly how a camshaft works. Now, if you don't know very much about the insides of your motor, a camshaft is a machined piece of metal, and it's usually a very, very thick machined piece of metal, and it spins around and it lifts what are called your lifters on your head, and that opens and closes the valves that allow air in and out of your motor. In addition, the camshaft often will be driving the oil pump, which on the Mini looks just like this. And the way this works is this little spindle right here spins around. This is a really old oil pump, so it doesn't spin very easily, which is why it's not on my car anymore. But inside, there are small lobes, and those spin and move oil through your motor. And that's what allows your motor to stay lubricated while it's running. So this camshaft fits right on the end of this oil pump, and as this spins, the oil pump spins. Pretty simple stuff, but the camshaft has all these different lobes on it, and you can see their different heights, and the profile, here's one right here, the profile of this is kind of a smooth graduation up and then back down. And the smoother the graduation, the kind of smoother and slower your lifters allow those valves to open and close. Now, when someone's talking about, well, I put a fast road cam or I put a rally cam inside my car, what that means is it has different profiles on these lobes. Now, what that means is that these profiles on these lobes here are more aggressive. So it opens and closes the valves faster or more precisely, which gives you a better power band and better power profile in your motor. But with those more aggressive camshafts, you get a lot of uh, kind of unusual noise and kind of unusual driving characteristics um, and what a lot of people call camming. So with a normal motor and a camshaft like this, which is a standard camshaft, it'll spin and the motor will go you know, pretty regular noise. But with a fast road cam or a rally cam, race cam, what have you, you'll end up with some kind of weird profiles and your motor will sound a lot different. It'll sound do 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 And it's something, it'll be repetitive, but it'll just sound a lot different. So, you know, as you're listening to other race cars or cars when you're at the track, something like that, take a listen and you can kind of hear that camming happening. And if you hear that camming, usually you can tell that someone's kind of worked on their motor a little bit, which is cool. Now, the next thing you'll see on this are three kind of basic sections. So you'll see this here, this one here, and this one right here. Those are the mating surfaces to your bearings inside your motor. Now a bearing is a piece of metal that is made specifically for other pieces of metal to rub up against it. And those, and those obviously need to be really well lubricated because two pieces of metal rubbing up against each other is not exactly something that won't generate heat. It's going to get really, really hot. And so the bearings are made specifically for this camshaft to slide in and rotate without any sort of uh, excessive resistance or problems. So in cases where you lose oil pressure, your oil pump goes bad or you don't have oil pressure in your car for another reason, what happens is oil doesn't get delivered to those bearings and then you end up having to replace those bearings and often repair the camshaft or the crankshaft as it damages those smooth metal surfaces. Now, there's one more thing I want to cover on this, and that's this geared piece right here. If you haven't seen that, this geared piece has kind of got these angle cut gears on it, and what that does is it actually connects to your distributor. And that's how you kind of time your motor by rotating the distributor and kind of making different adjustments on that distributor and the way that it meets with, these cam with this camshaft and when it fires those pistons. So on these older cars, these things are very, very mechanical, whereas newer cars, you end up having a computer that does a lot of this kind of uh, calculation and timing, all sorts of different stuff for you. So just a little bit different between the old and the new cars, but at its core, that's pretty much how the camshaft works. There's not a whole lot to it, and in fact, most of the things in your motor are actually quite simple. It's just you gotta break it down sometimes and kind of figure out how it meets, how it goes together, and uh, to really understand how that works in your motor. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Also, maybe post in the comment section and let me know what you'd like me to do an instructional video on next so that I can kind of tailor my videos to help you guys learn about your motor. 
So thanks a lot for watching Classic Mini DIY and I'll see you next time.